Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing good. Today in this video, we will explore about what is variable set, why we use variable set in service now and how we can create variable sets. So first let me show you the definition of variable set. See, variable set is a collection of variables which is reusable and we can use variable set in multiple catalog items. So we will explore in this video how these variable sets are reusable and how we can use them in multiple catalog items with example. So first let me open the uh, catalog items. So let's open these two catalog items. Yeah, currently for this catalog item request for company laptop, we have one variable and this is a test catalog. We have two variables here. Now I am going to create few more variables in this variable sets option like requested for details. Okay, requested for name, requested phone number, requested email. So these are the variable names which we are going to create now in this variable sets. And we will see how these variable sets will be useful. So let's click on new. So here we have two types of variable set, single row and multiple multi row variable set. So in this video, we will create single row variable set. In my upcoming videos, I will discuss about this multi row variable set as well. So now let's click on this single row variable set. So requested details is our variable set name. So and this internal name will auto populate. And if you want to mention the description as well, you can mention the description. See, once I save this variable set option, we can see few more options here like variables, catalog, UI policies, catalog, client script like that. Okay. So this is a place where we can create the variables for this particular variable set. So now let's click on new. We will create three variables like requested for, requested for name, requested for email. Okay. We already have requested for type of variable here. Requested for. Now save this. Now let's take single line text. The order should be 20. And we will. We will take now requested for name. Okay. Requested for name. Right click, insert and stay. Now let's take one more variable. Let's take email type of variable. And now we will mention requested for email. Insert and stay. So now we have successfully created few variables under this variable set called requested details. So let's open this. See this is a variable set name requested details. And these are the three variables we just now we have created for this variable set. Okay. Let's change the order. 30. Okay. So this is how we can create the variable set in catalog items. You have to click on this variable set option. You have to provide the name of the variable set. Once you save that variable set, you will get an option to create variables for that particular variable set. Okay. So now why we need this variable set? Why I have created variable set here? So let's assume that I have 10 catalog items and the variables which we have created in the variable set like like this requested for, requested for email and requested for name. Okay. These variables are mandatory for all 10 catalog items. So if we don't have this variable set option, these three variables I have to create manually for each and every catalog item. So I have to open all those 10 catalog items and I, and I want to open this variable section and I have to create all those three variables like requested for name, requested for email, every time, each and every time in all those 10 catalog items. So it will consume a lot of time, right? 
so in this scenario only this variable sets come into picture if we have to create any common variables in multiple catalog items then we can use this variable set option so let's assume here this requested for requested email and requested for name or common variables okay that should be present in all 10 catalog items so in this case we will create all those variables in one variable set and we can reuse them in multiple catalog items so here we have created this variable set with the name as requested details okay and in the requested details we have three variables now i have one more catalog item here with the name as test catalog and for this test catalog, I have two variables. Now I want those three variables which we have created just now in the variable set requested for requested email and requested for name. I want those three variables to be present in this catalog item as well. So now how we can do this? These three variables earlier we have created in variable set, right? So I am going to use that the variable set in this catalog item without creating manually. So now let's click on this variable set, click on edit. See here in the left hand side we have variable sets. So you can type the variable set which you have created. Our variable set name is requested details, right? So click on that and add it to your right hand side. See I am not creating any variables manually here. I am just adding that variable set here. See now the variable set has been added to this test catalog item as well. And if you observe here we have only two variables. So now let's click on this try it and we can see how many variables will be available in the form. See I have created only two variables right for this catalog item laptop brand and assigned. But in this form we can see requested for request email and requested for name variables as well. Why? Because we have used that particular variable set in this test catalog. So that's why we can see these three variables as well. So without creating manually, we have just added that variable set which we have created to this test catalog. So this is the test catalog and if this is a request for company laptop, click on try it. See this is the only variable which was there right earlier. Now we have three more variables as well like requested for, requested for email and requested for name. These three are set of common variables. So these we have created in variable set. And we have reused them in this test catalog as well. Not only this test catalog, if you have 10 catalog items and you want to show these three variables in those 10 catalog items or 20 or 30, you can use that variable set. So simply you can create one variable set with multiple variables and you can reuse them in multiple catalog items as well. If you open that variable set, here you can check, see if you open this included one. So it will show you like for how many catalog items this variable set has been added. So currently we have added this variable set for two catalog items. For request, for, request for company laptop and uh, second one is and second one is test catalog. If you have added this variable set for 20 catalog items, then it will show all those 20 catalog items names here in the included. Okay. So currently we have only two. So this is the importance of variable set in catalog item. So if we have to create any common variables and you have to use that common variables in multiple catalog items means then, then you can use this variable set option. So I hope this video will help you to understand about what is variable set and how we can create and how we can add that variable set to multiple catalog items. If you find this video helpful then please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.